Well, as the captain of Parsifal 3, Glenn usually stays above the fray, but he's about to sail directly into the center of an S-storm of crew drama. It's time to get his thoughts with what drives Glenn around the bend. Uh, Captain Glenn, how did you feel about Jenna in particular complaining about what sorry shape the boat was in when she came on board? Oh, yeah, that's a tough one. Um, well, we uh, we did what we could, but we didn't want to do everything until we had all the crew to help us. So, um, it, but were you, you annoyed know, with her complaints at all? You seem to not ever be too annoyed. <laughs> I get annoyed. I try not to show it too much. Uh, I think what, yeah, I mean, it was a circumstance. And I also kind of used that to see how the crew gelled together in a, in a crisis to get things done. And I think they came through with flying colors. So it was kind of a little bit of a test. And I'm not, I'm not that upset that, that, you know, they were, they were a little bit, you know, bugged out about it, but it was also, it gave me a good insight into how they can work under pressure. And that's part of what we do. So they need to be ready for that. You fielded a lot of complaints about Parker's behavior. How do you feel about him now that you're seeing it all unfold? Well, obviously I don't get to see everything because I'm not everywhere at all times. And there's a lot of interactions with the different departments. Um, I think Parker's great. I love Parker. He's very enthusiastic, um, but he needs to, he needs to sort of just get on with it, not speak so much about you know his issues and just get on with the work that he's directed to do, you know? You know, do you sympathize with Madison and Georgia's complaints about Jenna's management style, or do you think she's a strong chief stew, or both? I think Jenna's a, a definitely a strong st uh, chief stew, and I think that's really important. But there's definitely some friction in that department. Um, but again, I think it's just the kind of thing that if you're not in a department head, you should be sort of taking the lead and maybe it's not the way you want to do it but you still have to you have to be a good follower to be a good leader and if that's their aspiration to move up the ladder then you know maybe it's not the way you would do it but just get on with it i mean jenna's in that position for a reason um what was your reaction to madison and sierra slacking with the beach picnic set up um i you know i, I wasn't, <laughs> wasn't too impressed but I, I chalked that up to a misunderstanding. I think maybe we could have made it clearer how soon the guests might be coming. It's, it probably would have been a good idea for them to be prepared for it, take the initiative and be prepared for it, and just get that out of the way first, and then maybe relax rather than go there assuming they're not coming. Um, so I, I'm pretty sure they learned that lesson, but yeah. Um, before I talk to uh, Sierra and Paget about this, do you think that Paget is crossing the line with Georgia, even though Sierra says she's unbothered by his flirtations? I don't. I wouldn't say he's crossing the line. He's definitely pushing it. He's pushing the envelope. <laughs> but, <laughs> but being a little bit flirtatious is okay if it doesn't go any further than that. Obviously, if it were to go any further than that, and in my career, I've seen some crazy stuff, like way worse than that.